Hi guys and welcome to NARS Tuesday. Um, today you might notice that yeah I have on all NARS but I'm going to do things a little differently today. First of all I'm shooting with my Nikon and I hope it's coming in clearly for you all. From what I could tell the picture uh, quality looks pretty good with this Nikon. Nikon. <laughs> Nikon. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so I have my makeup on and I kind of want to do a twofer, <laughs> meaning I want to do my NARS Tuesday and I also want to do my favorites for the month. All I'm going to do as far as my NARS Tuesday is just tell you basically what I have on because I use basically the same technique and you all have seen you know this kind of technique enough from me to know pretty much what it is but if you want to see a tutorial on it just let me know and I'll be happy to do that for you um, let me go run through and tell you it real quick what I have on um, I decided to do a little colorful eye today but I mixed it up I didn't use all NARS I had help with um, the MAC Reflex and Urban Decay's Sabbath eyeliner in the uh, blue. You all know I love that. So um, what I used today was my basic um, transition shade, which is this blondie. But what I did was I mixed it with a little bit of this orange, which is like um, Max rule but hyped up and a little bit more red in it this guys is so pigmented if you're looking for a pretty red orange this is it this is a really really pretty one but let me caution you you all you need is just a tap of it and you've got like mega color so I did not want the orange to be primary focus so I mixed it with the blondie and um, came up with a transition shade that was just a little bit warmer than the blondie by itself. Then I used the Bengali on top for a little bit of the crease. And then I did something a little different. I used China Blue, which is a vibrant, vibrant, really, really pretty blue. It's a matte shade. Look at that. So pigmented. I used that, but I used very little of that mixed with this Tropic. Now, the one thing that is kind of disappointing with the Tropic, as I shared before, it looks so sparkly in the pot, but it doesn't come out that way. So that's why I um, amped it up a little bit with Max uh, Reflex in the... I believe it's an aqua turquoise. I'll have it listed below. But that is what I have on top of the uh, Tropic. So it's giving it kind of like that really nice sparkly eye. So I use this China Blue like a little bit in the outer V and in, into the crease. That gives it that little light smoky look. But this is what I want it to be like the main area of concentration. This pretty blue mixed with the uh, Max Reflex. Then um, what I did was I used this beautiful black blue from um, Urban Decay, beautiful color, Sabbath. I don't know if you can see that. It's like the deepest navy, guys, you will ever find in the eyeliner. Then to achieve the lip that I have on, I use three <laughs> different um, NARS colors to kind of come up with this peachy look. First, I laid down this vibrant orange which you know I love the orange but again I didn't want to use anything to compete with the eye I wanted the eye to be the main focus and y'all know that that's kind of like a theme with me I like the eye to be the main focus and then next I put on um, Honolulu Honey which is kind of like a nice uh, tinny peachy like kind of a nude I put that on top of that orange now, mind you, I didn't put a full-on orange on my lip. I just used very little of it. And then on top of that, guys, you know me, I had to matte it out a little bit. 
I put this shade on top of that, which is a little bit lighter. So these three shades together made this kind of a peachy, peachy look. And then for the cheeks, guys, you know I'm not a big, big blush person. And I love this Exhibit A, but guys, if you look at this, yeah, this is very pigmented. All you need is a touch of this as well. And it's a beautiful color, but if you're trying to make your eye your highlight, you don't want the cheek competing with it. So I used Exhibit A and mixed a little bit of this torrid with it to tone it down a little bit. And I used, a, there you go, that toned it down a little bit. And I used a dual fiber um, brush so that I can get a very light, so I could pick up a very little of that uh, color because I did not want a whole bunch of it on my cheeks and that is pretty much what I did for my face um, now you know I use the uh, Too Faced glitter glue to adhere my MAC reflexes and that is pretty much it guys it's relatively simple if you would like me to do a tutorial on it, let me know below. But other than that, that's what it is. And uh, that's the NARS Tuesday. So what I want to do next, though. Oh, and I did want to mention. Oh, man, I'm loving this. Shoney. Um, 112364 shared with me her NARS purchases uh, that she made yesterday, which... You know, I love it when you all share. She, um, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to be. <laughs> she tagged me on Instagram and showed me like a hella haul she did with NARS. And I'm real hyped up to see that, to see what kind of looks she's going to come up with that. So, um, Shoni, I will be looking for uh, another tag showing me uh, what you came up with. But, you know, I love that. So either tag me in Instagram and, you know, show me what you bought, show me what you purchased, or show me if you um, duplicated a look that I've come up with. I love that kind of thing. So thanks, Shoni, for doing that. Um, yeah, so getting right on with the favorites for the month. And you guys, it's going to seem like I'm going on a Mac rampage here, but... These are items that I haven't been using for a while. And since I've been doing the MAC Mondays, I have fallen back in love with these products. And I am just going to share them with you because, yeah, I'm loving them. First off, <laughs> this MAC brush cleaner. I think I've shared this before, but I am definitely going to share it again. Guys, I am loving this in between my weekly cleanings because by me, especially turning around and doing, um, say, doing Mac Mondays on Monday and then Tuesday doing the NARS Tuesdays, this has been a lifesaver as far as me using my cleaning out my favorite brushes um, so that I could use them the next day. Um, I am really loving this Mac brush cleaner. I have not I've not used a um a, a cheaper form of a brush cleaner. If any of you know of uh one that works just as good as this MAC one, list it below and I'd be happy to try it. But so far I've been loving this and yeah just doing my Mac Mondays and my NARS Tuesdays just reaffirmed my love for that. Um, next up is MAC Prep and Prime Eyeshadow uh, Prep and Prime. And I use this in the medium dark. Guys, I used to repurchase this all the time. And then I had kind of gotten into the habit of using um, the Urban Decay uh, Anti-Aging Primer Potion. Well, I started using this again. Um, since I've been doing the Mac Mondays and I am really loving this and and I just bought it back out because I love this it gives me a nice even campus I believe it campus canvas for my eyelids so I could apply my um, 
either my paint pot or my shadows. And I believe this comes in three shades, uh, light, medium, and dark. I use the medium dark, and I want to say before I had got the light one, um, but I really like the medium dark for my skin complexion. And just to reiterate, I am a Lancome 460 Sway in skin tone. But yeah, I really love this. Um, then guys... I am loving, and you all know I use um, Max Paint Pots. I have a host of them, but this month and from here on out with the Mac Mondays, I'm really going to make it make a point of using um, my paint pots every month or every week. And this one is um, Stormy Pink. I have been loving this one and reaching. For this for all of my pink looks um, even when I'm doing a NARS pink look I have been reaching for stormy pink I'm not sure if this was just a limited edition or not but it's just the perfect um, and I want to call it maybe like a dirty pink it's like a uh, gray pink yeah if you will it's a gray pink, and I have been loving this for all of my pink eyes. So, um, yeah, and the paint pots in general. I just, you all know that I feel that um, the black and the white are just staples. Um, this is not so much of a staple, uh, but I'm really loving this color for my pink eyes. Um but I do feel that the white, the black, and you know I use the laying low to blank out my lips. And um, what is the other one that I use? It's not soft ochre. Painterly. Painterly is the other one, which is lighter than this one. Um, now, I have next been reaching for, and I'm not going to say that I like it better than Anastasia Brow Wiz, because I do not. But... <laughs> Um, before I started using Anastasia Brow Wiz, I was using Max Spiked. And I pulled it out again to use it for um, my MAC looks. And guys, I got to say that I do love it. Um, not as much as the Anastasia Brow Wiz though. I still like the Anastasia Brow Wiz a little bit better than the Spike. But I'm going to tell you something that I like about the spike when I go to do a more um oh a eye using deeper colors this comes off darker than the Anastasia brow is and so for that reason it's pretty good I like the fact that it is a narrow point just like Anastasia brow is I like the fact that it is a narrow pencil however sometimes to me this can come off a little bit um, I don't want to say like a powder it could come off a little bit too heavy whereas the Anastasia brow is you can make it it's so fine that you can make like little hairs with it so I think that is the difference between the brow wiz versus the uh, spike. But I do like it and I have rediscovered it this past month. So I do like it and I probably will buy it. And then let me add too that when um, I had my hair dyed blonde, I used to use, and I probably will still go back to that should I dye my hair blonde again, is uh, I would use the MAC strut. And that was perfect color for me when I dyed my hair blonde or when I dyed it reds. I used to do all different colors. So, you know, should I do that again this summer or this fall? I will be going back to the uh, the um, MAC, eyebrow, MAC eyebrow pencil and strut. And I will pick up a, a, a spiked one. Next is this brush I have been loving and I use this and it's the MAC 195 it's a flat brush 
that comes to a point. And you all might have heard me talking about this. I love to use this in conjunction with a paint pot, especially when I am going up underneath the eye with the paint pot, going under my, my lower lash line. Because of this point, you could get in really close to your lash line with this. So I have been loving this. It's good for packing on um, your cream, your cream products. I use it for the paint pot. Some people use it for a concealer, but I use it for my paint pots because of this point, and especially when I'm using the black or the green, anywhere where I want to put it up underneath my eye. So I've been loving this ever since I've been using my paint pots more. Again, this is the MAC 195. It's the flat brush that comes to a point. The next brush that I've been loving um, from MAC is this MAC 206, I believe is what it says. Is it 206 or 205? I'll have it listed below. And that is this mini fan brush. Let me bring it in close. I hope you can see it. I hope this auto focuses. I'm not sure. It's a mini fan brush. It is used actually for mascara. Now, I don't use it for mascara. What I use it for, guys, is to put on my um, eye reflex or eye glitter. Because the bristles are so far apart and because it allows you to pick up very little, you you can layer it on instead of um, more of a densely packed brush where you would get a big glob of the glitter or reflex. This allows you to layer it on. So today I have it layered on pretty thick, but sometimes like say when I did the MAC Monday Smoky Eye yesterday, I used the same brush, but I only just dabbed it in and I didn't put on as much glitter. So I really love this brush for adding my uh, glitter or reflex to my eyeshadow. And um, you'd probably have to check the website to see if it's still available. But I love this brush. I don't use it for my mascara, but I use it, I do use it for my uh, glitter. Now, keeping in um, line with the MAC glitter or or any kind of glitter. It could be makeup forever or whatever. I am loving this, um, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. This keeps your glitters and your reflexes put on your eye so until you take it off. So I am loving that. I have, I have not had any problem with uh, reflex or glitters or whatever getting in in my eye I mean it just it stays put so I am really truly loving this and guys I think that that is it I did not have as many um, favorites this month but like I said it seemed like I was gonna go on a Mac rampage but it makes me happy when I redis rediscover products that I have in my arsenal and start using them up. So I want to make sure that I share that with you. Um, and that is it. So I will see you all tomorrow for Wild Card Wednesday. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if, uh, if you're not already. And check me out on Pinterest as well. Thank you, Ms. Nunu, for following me on Pinterest. I followed you back. And Pinterest, to me, should be a favorite every month because that is just like your digital scrapbook. And it is addicting. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, guys. And... Thank you very much for watching and please leave a comment. Don't forget to rate and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.